name is Layla Coleman. This is my husband, David Ulasic. Uh, we're both anthropologists. I'm a primatologist. Uh, he's an archaeologist. And we're here visiting this beautiful site. Uh, so we've been trekking around for about an hour or so. And uh, coming up to the, the second station where the potential research center is, uh, it's a, I think it's a great site. It's pretty level where you have all this bamboo. It'll be a great place to build it. Uh, getting there was a little tricky, a little intensive. The hills there and the slanted trail, so that needs to be worked on, but has a lot of potential. And then from the river on, that was a great hike, um, amazing hike. And of course, we heard several different families of howler monkeys. I uh, could see right off the bat that there was a male. You could see his large white testicles uh, going through through the, the treetops and trying to uh, get back together with his other group. Uh, lots of different birds. We ha heard a lot of different birds. I'm not an orth ornithologist, so I wasn't sure which species, but uh, some toucans were pointed out. Um, but I, I think it's got a lot of amazing potential, and I'm really excited about your project. <laughs>
and if you hear them, you can't go in that direction. Um, so it's sort of you just walk one kilometer an hour, and you're looking, so it's very slow. Um, and, and we also did botanical plots that were 25 meters uh, squared, and then we just tagged all the trees and got the names of them, identified them. Um, to see, you know, are these fruits or leaves that the howler monkeys are eating off of. Um, so we would just walk around, uh, map these trails, measure them, and try and find these. We were looking for both howler and spider monkeys. Um, the only spider monkeys that we saw were, were pets. <laughs> Like a, a lot more articles have been published in these um, academic journals in, <coughs> in uh, mostly Mexico, um, you have Central America as well, so Guatemala, Panama, um, there's this uh, Barro Colorado Island. Um, so that has a lot of research, um, has already been done there and so wow. maybe exhausted. So I think this area, Ecuador, has a lot of potential for more research because a lot hasn't been done um, in this area, of course. So I think it'll open big doors. Well, it was uh, the Mayan, uh, the Mayan people. And um, so they had their own little villages and it was like their, their forest, La Selva, La Candona. Um, and they had the Mayans that were tour guides, so local people there, of course. And, you know, they knew it like the back of their hands, so they were able to provide these tour guides, you know. But they, they also had ruins, archaeological ruins. Um, and so you had visitors, ecotourism. So you had visitors coming and to see the ruins and to see how their monkeys and to be taken along these trails. But, um, and they also had little stores kind of set up, but it was where they lived. They had these villages and they provided these huts for people to stay in. Um, so they they had it down. They, they had, had it everything down. They had to develop a, a, a community that was that was uh, aware of what's... Oh, what absolutely. I mean, this is what they lived on. Um, so when we did tell them, um, because this field school that we went to for first when we went there, um, I guess they had been going there for about over a decade. And um, they had told them, you know, they heard about, you know, the locals eating howler monkeys or keeping the spider monkeys, and they're telling them, you know, don't do that. You know, that's, you know, not good for them. And also, um, you know, it's going to hurt the ecotourism that you have, so <coughs> that you want to develop. And so they said that they stopped eating them. Um, they would actually eat them? They, yeah, they would actually eat them. So they stopped eating them and um, kept them off, uh, didn't have them as pets as often. So... Well, if you have well, that collaboration, it'll be good. Oh, well, perfect. Well, thank you very much for coming and visiting us, and uh, we'll Thanks be looking for forward. Us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.